Alfonso uh, uh, at the beginning, so we'll let you just ask us the questions then. All right. Well, Can-Am recording sessions. <laughs> Who really got beat up at that studio? Uh, <laughs> who didn't? <laughs> it, I mean, you had all type of situations that was going on there. Most of it was is over-exaggerated or um, blown, blown up. But, um, you know, artists got dealt with. And um, not artists. Artist, not the artists we know, you know, not Snoop or Pac or Dre or people like that. There's people that was trying to get on, that was trying to do stuff that wasn't taking the business serious, seriously. Uh, some of the stuff like that. It was mainly homies on homie stuff, uh, to be honest. Uh, you know, the, the mob against the Long Beach Crips that was mainly associated with us or anything like that. I don't have any situations like that. You know, we all know of the Warren G getting his chain snatched and and, and then, you know, Big C Style and Trey D came and tried to talk Suge in to make sure he getting the chain back and stuff like that. And Trey D was able to get that chain back, Yeah, that's, that's Trey D version. <laughs> it's Trey D version. Everybody okay. got a version. Yeah. I keep telling people it wasn't like people saying, you know, I saw him on Vlad and said he would have did this or did that. People had respect for each other, and it didn't go down like that. Why Warren G got his chain taken, I don't know. But Suge, you know, talked to whoever took the chain from him, and they gave Warren G bitch ass back his chain. James, were you at any of those Can-Am studio sessions? No, I didn't do, I didn't, uh... They come out again like, Warren, can uh, Suge want to holler at you? So I'm like, all right, I'm coming. <clears throat> came again, Suge came in like, Warren, let me holler at you, man. Come, come out. And I was like, shit, I said to myself, let me see what the fuck this nigga want. So I got up, and then I came, and I went um, into the room they call the Red Room. Wow. And when I came in the room, another cat, I, don't, I ain't gonna say his name, he came out of a door, and he, he came to me and was like, blood, you told these bitches you was gonna kill them. Like, saying, I'm like, I knew it was bullshit when the motherfucker said something about some bitches saying that yeah. I was trying to get at you. So I knew, it was, it, I didn't know why they was tripping, but they was tripping. So so I'm like, nah, you know I ain't getting ready to get out. I don't get down like that. So they talking, whatever. So him and Shug start talking. So he came back like, Bloods, you, you tried to, man, you snatched my chain. So I'm like, God damn. I had a Glock on me too. Oh my God. And I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I wanted to pull that motherfucker out and just start busting. But I had to think because it was, a bunch of dudes right here outside of the door, a bunch of police mm -hmm. that was working at the same time uh, around that time. And uh, so I would, I was in a fucked up situation. So I had to think. So one of my other, my, my homeboys, which is c -style, he came through the door and he was like, what's going on? Why y'all tripping with one? So and uh, while he was talking to them, like, why? Well, it was a door right here, so I opened the door. I walked through the door <clears throat> in the kitchen, and I seen two cats I knew that was sitting right there. So I walked past. I looked at them like, nigga, these niggas tripping. So I get to the hallway. As soon as I got to the hallway, I'm walking fast. The motherfucker, right before I got to the door, that nigga came running. Get that nigga blood. Nah. And, uh, <laughs> what? I swear to God. So I took off. Boom. I, I got out. I got out. I got to my car. I had a, a, a big ass truck on big knobbies back then. So I got in my car and I backed up and I said, nigga, fuck y'all. Boom. And I pulled off that motherfucker. And I, I told my uncle, uh, Ron G, I, t I told Ron what happened. So Ron called in there, and he told he told them, if my nephew shit don't come out that motherfucker in 15 minutes, I'm going to blow that motherfucker up. Wow. And he's a Navy SEAL, so he was serious. So Snoop had called him, like, called him, called me, like, Warren, come get your chain. I'm like, hell no, nah, keep it, hold it for me. And then I, I took off, and um, the crazy thing about that was was just, um, I didn't know. That Dre had left. Oh so, my God! What it do, y'all? Top Media TV coming back at y'all again. Make sure y'all don't forget to click the like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Said I was Warren G. Kind of explaining for the first time when Buntry had snatched his chain, but they had got it back. And y'all heard Trady on Vlad TV saying how he wasn't gonna leave without Warren G. Getting his chain back. After being snatched by Buntry. Right here with Trayvon laying on the left. With Sugar Knight beside him on the far right. Of course, Tupac Shakur. So, I had uploaded a video a few months back. With Big C-Style speaking on 
Warren G Chain getting snatched and Trayvon Lane was in the comment section explaining what went down in the comment section who's go, who goes by the name Trey Lane on YouTube and this is what he said y'all I actually pinned the comment section on the video so he goes on to say now I'm gonna keep it a thousand the only reason my big homie Buntry Al didn't tear Warren G apart is because when Shook pulled up Buntry out to the side Shook paid Buntry out to fall back. Plus, we had got love for Big C style. So that was Trey Lane saying Buntry was paid by Shook Knight to fall back. Initially, after snatching his chain, which was then returned. You know, some dude snatched more chain in the parking lot of k and in like about 90, 95, 96, something like that. and am in. So, Warren G went and got C style, and they, and they went and... You know, they holler that sugar. Mm. Right? Oh, he got his he got his chain back. We wasn't leaving with unless he was getting the chain back. Uh, something was something else was gonna happen. He wasn't like that. Wasn't no wasn't nobody getting punked at death row when I was So that was Trey D's version of events as to the situation with Warren G getting his chain snatched. Of course, the chain was returned, as in, as y'all heard Trey Trey D say, was a nobody gonna leave until that chain was returned. Big C style would also say his version of events. Uh, Warren had a problem one time. You know what I mean? They put Warren in the red room and, and he asked me to go in there with him. I go in there with him and one should people come out from the back cut and tell Warren, yeah, nigga, you, you try to uh, set us up in Long Beach and Warren like, nigga, I ain't trying to set y'all up. And, you know, Warren ain't no gang member. Yeah. That's not his thing. Yeah. And they in there trying to intimidate him and, you know, Warren ain't no gang member. Yeah. That's not his thing. Yeah. And they in there trying to intimidate him and go hard on him, do snatch the one chain off his neck. And I jumped in the middle of it. I'm like, hold on, homie. You know, he's gonna know me. I'm not just gonna, yeah, we both in this room, but y'all not finna just de- do him like this. And it's like, my city, it's like, you might have to fuck us both up in here. Yeah. So every time I jump in the middle, she was gonna lift up like he wanted to do something, but he just sit back down. So, Sugar and his homeboy went to the side in the red room to go talk. I opened the door and let Warren out and shut the door back. They like, is that why you let him out? I said, man, you sick. So, Chug and his own boy said, man, you sick. Man, you nigga scared of that man. I'm not going to sit here and torture no name from homies like that. But, and Warren went out there and told Snoop. Snoop didn't even know what was going on in the red room. Everybody else was outside in the studio for it. And Snoop went back in there and somebody got his chain back and all that. But that's the only... Oh, so all the stories about it, Warren G getting beat up. and all, That's not even... They didn't hear all that. That's how people they didn't beat well, they stories, didn't touch. Only thing they have, they snatched Warren, Jane, Warren G chain, they didn't touch it. They didn't put one hand on it. Yeah. Yeah, because we'd have been in that motherfucker fight. Yeah. Yeah. And I had about 40 homeboys on the other side of that door. Yeah. With a toe can and up that night. <laughs> Wish they would. Because all those stories of people getting beat up, that had nothing to do with you guys. No. That I'm, had to do with people trying to be groupies. Trying well, to up. Exactly. Because, homie, I'm going to tell you like this. You get these dudes up here that want to imitate and be these hardcore dudes, and that's not in them. And then they come around them type of dudes, and then they, yeah, them kind of dudes have a couple of problems. Yeah. Get slapped upside the head or kicked in the butt of so let me know what y'all think man that was big c style and his version of events as to what went down of course y'all heard reggie right in the beginning speaking on how everything went down trey lane was also in the comment section to the video i had uploaded saying how bunchy was paid to fall back and of course you had trey d on vlad tv giving his version of events so there's a lot of version of events out there y'all heard it from the horse's mouth himself warren g Saying he was about to pull out a gun and start shooting. But Big C style would also say that Warren G was kind of scared. And you know, he was being intimidated. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Make sure y'all don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, y'all. Peace.